Hello, in this video we are going to present you the app for the COMP103P Object Oriented Programming for UCL. The app is called Firm Assist Intervention. We are team number 7. We are Boris Radu, Fazan Hassan and Noah Luti. We are all computer science students. So, let's start with the purpose of this app. Each time when an NHS pharmacist finds out that there is a problem with a prescription of a patient, such as wrong dosage, he has to change the prescription and in order to do that he has to complete a form. They used to do that by hand with paper forms which obviously takes a lot of time and it's not very practical. So this is the, where the app comes in order to help them to complete to make a contribution way faster and to store the data in an accessible place. The pharmacist contribution app is an easy and user-friendly way for pharmacists to fill in a contribution form. The app allows pharmacists to avoid the old-fashioned paper forms and review their previous contribution all in their own personal mobile phones. We started this application from scratch with no previous experience in app development. So we started by watching tutorials for Ionic, Android and iOS app, and HTML, SCSS, Angular, GS. For the development of this app, we used a native Ionic, Android and iOS app, created using the Ionic framework, known for its rich cross-platform app development. For the frontal LED technologies, we were using HTML, SCSS, and AngularJS. The backend technologies were realized by implementing a Firebase database, which is powered by Google to store the user details and the contribution the user submits. This is the logo that you are going to see when you open the app. So the logo is going to refresh until you can properly use the app. For using the application, you need to receive an invitation, which is an email sent by one of the admins. So after that, you can have access to the Firebase, which looks like that. Uh, the Firebase stores both the user and the contributions. Now you gain the access so you can start to log in in the app. You have to write down your email and your password. After that you can click the register button if it's the first time or the login button. We also have a future in case that you forget your password and you are going to receive an email which can allow you to set another password, a new one. This is how the home page looks like. The app has three tabs on the button, the home tab, the new and history. You have to press on the new tab and you can make a new intervention by completing the form. The form has multiple features. There are uh, questions that have to be answered by writing down. There are questions like date when you have to scroll in order to choose a date. And of course, there are checklists which make it very easy for the user to complete the form very quick. After the user completes every aspect of the form or whatever aspects he wants to complete, he can just submit by going on the bottom of the page and hit the submit button. After that, the information gets stored in the history tab and you can go there and scroll in order to see the forms that you have completed previously and you can also have access to the information to the um, forms by using the firebase thank you for watching our video i hope you are going to find it interesting and to find our application useful